Then you can see the sell started very conservative. Nobody even overbid the plaintiff maximum bid, and all of a sudden, ba-boom, ba-boom, people start bidding like crazy, going after each other, uh, spending another $10,000 in, in bids. And that's not something I'm used to see, especially not with people who understand real estate investing or very conservative about the numbers. They don't jump with numbers so high, so quickly. They know how to give up on the sell. And what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing people who don't give up on sales, paying high prices for things that are worthless. Uh, this scares me off and this tells me that uh, uh, you should be very conservative, very careful uh, of the investments that you do and who you follow. This is a really new bidder, okay? A very, very new bidder. The way I can see it is by the bidder number. Uh, and let's see if I can find the period person information. Santia Charles. Oy, oy, oy. Ay, 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 ay. And this is the person. Uh, let's see where you can find that person. I don't know if this is the person. Uh, well, if they walk in the beauty, that makes a lot of sense. And what I can do is to find out that person is I can, uh, as I showed you in one of my clips, I have this website that helps me a lot to skip trace people for free. Just found about it, I also automated it so I can skip, uh, uh, skip trace people in the mess. Uh, 73 years old, uh, here you go. Let's give it a call, let's see, you know. It just happened and I wanna save these people some money, okay? My ultimate goal is to convey my value to others and I'm not just saying it, I'm trying to actually do it. I'm trying to save people, I'm trying to um, really help, you know, uh, really, you know, be on the good side of the universe and try to help as much as I can to people who just uh, don't know what they're doing and um, save, the, uh, save them from uh, financial disaster, basically. Uh, maybe they're gonna thank me, maybe not. Maybe they're gonna shut the phone on my face. But I'm a person who can save them about thirty thousand dollars right now. I, I'm that person. I'm that person who's uh, who's trying to do that for them, you know. And I'm gonna call right now uh, to uh, this person, Clarissa. Please leave your message for Devante Norales. Devante Norales. Please leave your Hi, uh, good morning. My name is Liran Koren. I am a professional bidder at the auction. I've been there for about 10 years. And I'm not sure if I'm reaching the right person, but I saw uh, you, you might be bidding on a property, um, an HOA foreclosure um, in market. And I just wanted to uh, let you know that there is another mortgage going on on that property and they are very close to foreclose on that property. So I would really suggest you not to pay for the sale tomorrow and take an attorney, a title attorney, to go over the sale that you just purchased today. Um, I'm not trying to call you or sell you anything. I'm just trying to help other people not make mistakes at the auction. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. So I found the person information. That was the same person, the voice message here. And he didn't take up the call. He's probably busy doing title searches. Uh, I wonder if he's going to call me back. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, recording for another minute or two and see maybe I'm going to get a call back and that's going to be an interesting case study to actually uh, speak with that person and let them know they made a huge mistakes and they shouldn't go for that property. You know, as you can see here, that person I think owns that property before. It's really crazy. See what I, what's going on here? I guess their strategy is maybe to bid on the property and not pay for it, to stall the sale. That's the only reason I can think of. Seems to be that this person who bid on that property was the owner. How funny is that? And he didn't let anybody to win this property. I'm just noticing it right now. Let's look at this together. Santia Charles. See again. Actually, I don't have the number. Let's see if I can skip this it.
Okay, I'm gonna try to find this person. Okay, Charles Cynthia, 33 years old, Boynton Beach. I'm gonna try to give them a call. Let's see. Young people, 86, 33 years old. Hello? Hello. Hi, good morning. Uh, may I speak with the Santia Charles? This is she. I'm sorry, I don't know if I got the right person. Are you the person who bid at the auction today and the foreclosure? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that uh, uh, my name is Liran Koren. I'm actually trying to help not to sell anything or anything like that. I just was looking at that property as well and I saw that there was a mortgage also on that property and they are very close to foreclose. And I just wanted to warn you about this because I've been buying at the auction for about 10 years. And uh, I really suggest you like do a title search before you pay for it tomorrow. Um, do, do a what? Title search. Do a title search? Yes, because there is another mortgage from HSBC that already started their foreclosure and they are very close to foreclosing that property. And if you pay for that property tomorrow, they're going to foreclose on you in a few months and they're going to eliminate your interest. So are you working for the um, foreclosure lawyer? Yes, I'm working I'm not working for the foreclosure. My name is Liran Koren. I'm actually uh, bidding at the auctions since 2009. Uh, I teach people not to make mistakes at the auction. And I'm also an educator. I teach people and I have my uh, online courses online. I also have my book. But the reason I'm calling you today is because I'm taking it as a case study and I'm trying to actually save you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Well, I try to be the nicest I can, really, you know, and, and help her, you know, kind of like, it's a very, you know, it's a very sensitive moment to call somebody after the auction. I'm sure she's like all sweating and adrenaline all over her body, and she's probably going to call me back because she's going to say, oh my God, this guy was right. She's going to go to the attorney. And if I can save somebody $28,000 just by calling them, right? Imagine how, how, how much money I can save if I do it on a regular basis. If I just call people and tell them, hey, you know, you made a mistake, don't pay it, I'm gonna save you $30,000. How much, how much an advice can really help you, you know? How much you really appreciate advices, you know? Do you value other people's advices? Well, see, one of the things about uh, creating businesses is doing, it's creating relationships. And, uh, once you know something better than anybody else, immediately you become a leader in that field, in that territory, in that, in that zone. Uh, you get the authority because you are the point of, um, you are the central point of opinion for anything to do with that specific subject, okay? In my example, it's uh, uh, off-market properties and auctions and title searches and avoiding legal issues, you know, when buying properties without insurance. Uh, for other people, it can be other things. It can be all kinds of other things that they do better than other people. And the best thing you can do in order to create relationship is actually to kind of look at yourself and ask yourself, what kind of value, okay, do I have, okay, that it's really valuable and I can convey it to others, okay? You can look at your values, see which one really outstand from... Uh, from the other things you do, okay? From other people's uh, uh, knowledge. And focus on that and then bring it to the universe, okay? Just, if somebody appreciates it, it's gonna come back, you know? I can't tell that lady that I'm the best investor in the world and I bought 200 HOA liens and I can help her do this and that. I can only convey what I know and I can, if she can cross her friends and if she, if she, go, she can search my name and she's, if you can see the value in me, then we can uh, help each other. But uh, that's the that's the idea I'm trying to apply here, is that you're gonna give you gotta give people uh, um, you gotta value people, uh, not just value um, deals, not just value properties. Uh, you gotta feel, you gotta value uh, people's value. You gotta values people's uh, uh, chemistry, people's intentions, uh, people's uh, heart. Goodness, you know, you gotta value these people, you know, when you go and you, whatever you do, in, whatever you do, it doesn't matter, yes, to have some sort of uh, 
um, some sort of basic um, feature in, the, in, in them that you know you can relate to some bas basic things that you you can identify with okay and that's more important than just looking at the deal and making a deal uh, the idea is to convey your value to others and hope for the best and hope that hope that they can appreciate value and for that lady who just skip trace a number and I paid 60 cents to skip a number just to save her $28,000. I did it because I want to help, because I want to help you guys. I want to help people who are interested in making um, good real estate investments and not making mistakes. So I'm going to hand up this case story. It's been a, a wonderful case story to uh, show you guys what an HOA, uh, what a good HOA to buy is and what a really bad HOA to buy is. And um, and that's it for now. So if you like this uh, clip and you think it was uh, educational or gave you any value uh, in your business, or it can, you think it can give any value to anybody else, I uh, really appreciate if you uh, like, subscribe, share it. Uh, you can also comment if you have any question about any of my videos in any stage of that video. Uh, please just write me a comment uh, within that video and I can reply it back because I know I'm speaking, going very fast. Uh, but I'm going to try to um, uh, complete the other pieces that are not clear to any one of you. So feel free. I'm, I'm more than happy to see interactions and engagements. It kind of like motivates me. So um, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you think about my content. Thank you very much and happy investing.